yeah, it's always it's an exciting moment when you have uh, uh, narrowed it down as a coaching staff, and you believe that these 23 players now that that uh, you've chosen, you know, um, can focus now purely on on Brazil. You know, we can go into more specific things about you know tactical approaches, you know, about the opponents, and uh, and obviously also for the players, it's very very important to know that they are now part of it and that they can kind of relax also a second and know that they are uh, on the list. They're going to Brazil and uh, uh, and taking it from there. And after. Um, almost 10 days of work right now. Um, we thought the point is now has come to make that decision. Well, obviously it's uh, the difficult side of it uh, for a coach, uh, for every coach that has to kind of talk to a player. Not being part of it going forward is is not easy because you feel for the player. Um, you hope that they keep still very positive and uh, and you communicate it in a way that you know if tomorrow somebody gets injured you're the first one that you call in um, so I mean the, the door is not closed for them because uh, we still have a couple of weeks to go and and God forbid you know injuries happen so then you need to call upon them and and hope that they uh, stay sharp they stay in a good shape in a rhythm and they take it positively but obviously for the player it's a very very bitter pill to swallow. Well, this is uh, uh, certainly one of the toughest decisions, also a toughest decision in my coaching career, uh, to tell a player like him with everything he's done and, and uh, what he represents, um, to tell him that you're not part of those 23 right now because I just see some other players slightly ahead of him. You know, he's been in that final 30 roster in terms of, you know, now the last 10 days, you know, and he did everything right. He was a... a, a he, he was always positive. He took it, you know, the best way possible. Um, so his disappointment is huge. I totally understand that. He took it very professional because he's an outstanding professional player, and he knows that I have the highest uh, respect for him. But I have to make the decisions as of today. I have to make the decisions what is good today for this group going into Brazil. And there, I just think that you know the other guys right now are a little bit ahead of him. Um, and uh, and I told him that, and uh, he understands it. But obviously, he's very disappointed. Well, what we're trying to do now, basically having these 23, is is really to prepare uh, in every way, in every training session, in, in every uh, game that we have, you know, for the first game against Ghana, because this is such a huge game for us. Uh, we we really need to win this game, and and. Uh, um, and having made that decision now, you know, we can focus on the starting 11, we can focus on the next one that are in line and coming in, you know, and can only work with those players um, and not with an extended roster. So that gives us, I think, more a bit more quality in everything we do. Um, and, and also it gives the players a very clear picture um, what is going on. And, and therefore, um, it's exciting now uh, that, you know, we have this part crossed off or checked off and, and, and now, you know, the players know what's um, what, what is their personal or, or individual case and uh, we can move forward. Well, I, I think it's the most exciting, you know, um, moment for a player when he knows he's part of those 23 uh, going into a, a World Cup and there's no bigger World Cup than a World Cup in Brazil. And so they should be very, very proud of themselves. They should also enjoy this moment and, and communicate it with their families. Um, and then it's uh, um, it's down to a lot, a lot of work to be the best way prepared possible for for those big opponents that we have. But for every player, this moment is a very special day. There's no doubt about it.